Hello, good evening and welcome to Craft with Bella Jane. My name's Lynn and um, this evening we're going to be working on um, some uh, the uh, April freebie from um, the newsletter of uh, Tracy Fox Creative. And um, I've cut them out but I don't know what I'm going to do with them apart from, you know, I, I'm loath to just copy exactly what Tracy's done um so um yeah what she did originally was she grouped them now um my printer heaven help me with this this is my new printer heaven help us all right so the printer has done this these three pieces were at the end of the page so it's cut off about what quarter of an inch of this and this and this printed them very neatly down the edge but they were the edges of them were, weren't there so i'm not going to be able to do exactly the same as tracy did with this one so i'm thinking i might just cut it off to match this side but it looks a bit squiffy to me if i do that so my only other option is to reprint and um, I'm not keen to do that. So I might just not use that piece or I might find another, another, um, I've got another envelope from the postal. Um, just going to drink my coffee. Yeah, I've got another envelope from that postal kit. Um, I need to just... Um, trim this now I've got somewhere a um, another board I'm just going to use this cheap one um, I'm going to use this as a pose because I haven't got any I haven't made mica I don't even know what mica is to be honest I don't know the point of mica or what it is so I'm going to have to look that up but I thought I might use a bit of cellophane as I don't have any mica which will give me that shimmery look so I've got that and I mean I'm starting this and I've got um three other things no only two now I did one this morning three other things that I need to finish and um now, I don't know whether I should actually be using my ruler. Yeah, I should be using my ruler because I've got a metal edge on this. Because Oh, my light's flashing. Because I can't keep a straight line with that. Without, ooh. I need to use the paper properly, don't I? I mean, I need to use the board properly. So, if I get... Get straight there. Oh gosh. If I get myself straight with that line there, and then just edge that to where I want it there, that should be okay. To there. And then I don't do this very often. I'm not a fan of uh, using the knife, going under the knife. It's all right for just straight. I'm just going to do, you know, straight cutting off papers. That's all right. No, we've not done too badly there. Oh, my big, big thing at the moment is I'd love to get a cry cut. But I can't afford one at the moment, so um but that's my that's my latest could do with. There's no such thing as a must have, I don't need it, but it would be a nice thing to have, wouldn't it? Oh I've gone over. I've gone squiffy. Yeah, look, I've slithered that. I'll be able to um, fix it. I'll put some tape on the back. Right, so. That's because I wasn't um, concentrating. 
It's too busy thinking about the day when I might be able to afford a cricket machine or a cricket or whatever people call them. There we are, I've done it. Oh, that's supposed to be like that. I might just carry that down and cut it off, you know, because... I wasn't very good at this knife business. So there's two things I've tried this afternoon that I'm not great at. One of them is the um, the paper clips. I had a right pig's ear of those. And the other one is this. So, um, oh, what a racket going on now with the rugby's on now. Oh, I'll cut that as well. All right, I'm not doing the back. I'm just trying to get the front without making too much of a mess on the front. So I'm just doing this for the quarter of an hour before the um, quarter of an hour before the snooker comes back on. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Now then, the other thing is, I've left my scissors downstairs. Because I cut these out while I was downstairs watching TV. So we'll just have to use these for a minute. Oh, I really need a trip to Ikea to get scissors. But we haven't got an Ikea here. That's okay, isn't it? There we are. I'll be alright. And I've got a bit of a cold coming on. I've had paracetamol twice today and I don't really do tablets. So I had them this morning, breakfast time. And I've just had two more now, tea time. So, yeah. Could do with like a little sanding. Um what you call it, uh, file, just to smooth that down. Um, yeah. Right, so that's all right now. This, what should we do with this? Right, we'll have to do it differently. So we'll have to cut this off. like that so that's the best I can do because of what my printer's done and I think because Tracy had a little picture in there like these two I think she put in so that's too big now for us so we're gonna have to put a small one in like that I'll do yeah we'll put a small one in ours so we've got that and then um I don't know which one she she cut one of them, didn't she? And made it into like a little tuck. I think it might have been this one. She, she, uh, what did she do? She did that. So, yeah, I think that's what she did. Really need to do that one, do we? 
It's going over the top. So this is sort of like a sailor's wallet. Yeah, I think she did something along those lines. And um, put them in there like that. And of course, our um, pa our paper, our piece of card, this piece of card isn't as long because of the printer, naughty printer. But we'll still be okay. So I think she cut this off. Like that. So considering I wasn't going to copy what Tracy's done, I was pretty much going along the same lines at the moment. But, you know, we're not going to copy everything. <gasps> don't want that there, do I? I don't want that there. What's that one? Oops. Fingers and thumbs. There we are. So that's going there. Like that. Right, the snooker's going to start now. So I'm going to finish for now. Right, so we've got that and then that's going in there. So we'll... We'll uh, do a bit more to that in a minute. So I'm going to go and watch Snooker now. So um, I'll carry on. What for you will be a quick flip, flap. But for me, it'll be till tomorrow morning, probably. Okay, good morning. <laughs> As I thought, uh, uh, it it was it's morning before I got back to you. But I had to do a bit of work last night. Um, I made this one. With my super fake micro, <laughs> it's just cellophane. Put a little bow on it. Um, I made this one. Put a little pin on it, some beads and some dot. Um, I don't know what you call this, it's dot something. Yeah, so that's got cellophane as well. Um, I finished this one, I don't know whether I did that before I, I went off that little bit of fabric um some memory finish this passporty thing put some stamping on it and I thought this was a bit sad because they'd been declined to go wherever it was they were new york by the look of it so i've got another one and i seem to have lost a word there's a word approved i've seen it on traces but i don't seem to have it now i said the printer had had messed up but that word was on the top row which is not where the printer went so I've cut it out and lost it now I've been through the bin downstairs because I cut these out downstairs but it's not there so I don't know where it is so anyway like I said last night I'm not reprinting so they're going on there they can have there and back on that one um this one I showed you how I'd had to do this because of the printer. So I watched Tracy's video again last night. So what I need to do is back this onto a little piece of card. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll put that on there. And then they'll go inside there. And then I've got this one. And I seem to have run out of back pieces. So I've got this blue card. So we thought I can put that on there. I can put some more of this dot mesh. Um... I could put that on the back. Now I could put the whole piece on the back. So expensive, this dot mesh. I can't remember what you call it. And just trim it around the edge, but I don't know about that. Keep the dots around the edge like that. So I could do that with them. And then I've got these left over, so I could make that blue card a bit longer and put one of these, put this on the bottom 
which looks like it becomes then a, a what do they call them a cabinet card put that on the bottom like that and they could even just tuck in there couldn't they like that and the other thing i thought i could do was put that on there like that put that over there like that and then wrap this around like um, with a ribbon like that. But I'm not sure about that either. I quite like that actually. That's quite nice. That was one of my thoughts. And then you've got that on the back, haven't you? Then I quite like that idea. Um, I quite like that very much. So I think I might do that. But I'm not sure about a piece of ribbon. I'm sure I've got a thin ribbon somewhere. And then I've still got these left over, lost and found, never, never far, and um, that little one, which I can make into a little tag, I think. So the first thing to do is get more, a bit more of that blue card. And this is what I've got left of it. I don't even know where this blue card came from, to be honest. So that needs to go on there. I might give it a border like that. And then that goes on top of it like that and I don't think I will give it a border so let's do that first so I'm still searching for that word but I don't think I'm ever going to find it so we might as well just use um, glue stick for this It's a miserable day here. It's raining. It's um, it's just not nice at all. Right, this way up. So I'll give myself a bit of an option by doing that. That's okay. And then we'll use this. Um, now I'll tell you what we didn't do, but. It doesn't matter if we're going to cut it out because we can um, we can ink it afterwards. But we won't have any ink there, will we? So we'll just do it now because that's going to be covered, that brown card there, isn't it? So we just want this around the edges and put the lid on the glue stick and then very thin. Oh no, it's only getting a tiny picture in so we don't have to be supersonically thin, do we? There we are. So I wasn't planning on um, doing crafts today. I was planning, well, I wasn't planning on doing much crafts today. I was planning on going to my friends to dig up some dog daisies um, which are growing in abundance and they're one of my favourite things and I haven't got any dog daisies in my garden. I did have them but my so-called gardener, who wasn't really a gardener, um, he I mean, he was pretty good at what he did, but he didn't know plants from Adam. And he, he dug up the dog daisies because he thought they were weeds. So there we are. So that should be all right. I think we'll cut this off. There we are. Now we're going to try and keep tidy because I've noticed in my videos that um my desk an absolute mess um, in recent videos so um, let's just do this on the edges now things like that glue just thrown around <laughs> that's such a fuss part right so that's done now where are they oh they need inking as well And I want to do some sewing this afternoon, so um, I want to get this done and finished. Yeah, they're right in there, aren't they? 
So that could go on there because it's the only place left I've got now to put it. And then this could go somewhere like that as a sort of wrap around tag. So let's put that on first. Has this been inked? No. There we are. with it. There we are. Is it the right way up? Yes. So that's going there. Like that. And then this one. So it looks like we're going to have two words left over. I really, really wanted that approved word. But anyway, never mind. Because that would tell a story then, wouldn't it? Because they'd been declined in um, New York. These two. Where are they? Yeah, they've been declined in New York here. And then we could have put them here. They could have been approved. So maybe I won't do, put that on yet. I'll wait and then I'll get approved and I'll put another stamp from France or something on there. I've got another one. There, that's nice, isn't it? I like that. So that's that one. Now there's this one to do. So, um, yeah, I think we'll leave them to... I'll have another look. I'll look through this bin that's beside me because that's the only last place left now to look. Um, I might have thrown it away by accident when I've been doing my tidying up. Let's ink this one. I've had a video uploading to YouTube. I think it's heading into 48 hours now. I have no idea why it's taking so long. It's not even a long video. And I wasn't in a rush for it to upload because I'd uploaded one that day anyway. But now it's like sort of two days. We're into two days later. So I don't know what on earth's going on with YouTube. Should we put that there? Yeah. Okay, so we'll glue this on. Um, we could, oh, well, we're going to have it as a little... I don't know whether we were just going to tuck it in, but it seems like a good way for it to get lost, to be honest. And that's way too much glue. If it's going to be a little tuck. It does tug. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? I quite like that. I mean, do I need this dot tool thing? Could it just be a little flap that goes over the top like that? Could, couldn't it? That'd be nice. Keep it safe. And then it needs, well, I need some little white bows, but I thought that might like a little white bow, but. Um, Heather at um, uh, Ruby and Pearl XO uses this a lot. It's pearly, dotty, dotty stuff. I don't think there's a right or a wrong way. Now then, I'll have to just put some glue on these little dots because otherwise it won't stay down. 
Oh my word, that's my fish tank having a fit. Um, the electric went off a minute ago and um, the pump on the fish tank always goes potty after that. So I'm going to have to rush down now and have a look. And then while I'm down there, I will, um, while I'm turned off, there we are. Oh, that's sweet. And then you pick that up to look at the picture. How nice is that? Of course, we won't throw this little piece away. Okay, that's the uh, fish tank fixed. Um, I found this satin ribbon. Um, do you remember when you make these little bows, you waste a lot of it. I've been through the bin and I couldn't find that word uh, approved for them. Um, so I've... Um, I've glued this on now, I've glued the ribbon to the back and I've tied a little bow there so um, I have got a twist in that ribbon but I'm sure that's not the end of the world, I'll, re I'll retie it another time. Yeah so that's done, um, I like that, I like it very much so that's that um, and then I've made this little ribbon um, to go on there so we'll just put a bit of glue, blob of glue on there, doesn't need much and we'll just pop that there like that. There we are. So um, we've done them all now except for this one. So I think we'll rough this one up a little bit. We can find the scissors, here they are. Um, so I'll just rough it up. Like that. I'll make a little thing there. Come around the edge. Squippy the people sometimes. Quite like that. That's quite nice. So we'll just glue them on. It's not going to need a lot of glue to keep them solidly on there. Right, they're a bit squiffy. So you'd add a glass of sherry probably when she did this. Or maybe it was him, I don't know. I always think it's the woman that does these nice, pretty things. And um, we have there and back. Or just there, they've made it. <laughs> I don't know. I like that as well. There and back. I'm not sure about there and back. I just like approved, but I'll keep going on about it. There's no point in keep going on about it, is there? I think we'll have to have there and back. We'll just have to go for it. Otherwise, um, we'll be here all day with this. And we'll have another long video that takes two days to upload to YouTube. Oops, right way, right way. It's funny how they're squiffy and the writing's the right way around. Right, so let's put some glue on the blobs. So this is how to get this to stick without getting glue all over your work. And I don't think that one's going on, but we'll still put a little blob on it. There we are. There's no on there, so I'll just hold that. Looks 
like it's got chicken pox. So we'll just trim it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, they've made it. There they are, they've made it. There and back. Look. Oh, bless them. Bless them. Okay, so that's everything now. We've done them all. We've done them all. Let's go through them. Let's pick them up and do what Tracy did. <laughs> So lost and found and never far, we haven't used. We've made this little pretty one with the, uh, put them on the blue card, made it like a cabinet card, but they're actually tucked in there so that picture can come out. They're tucked, excuse me, they're tucked in there. So, um, and that's a little piece of her something, her clothing that, that she's put in there so he can take it or she can keep it in her handbag of him and her together. He looks like he's he's a sailor or something, doesn't he? Very handsome man. And then there's this one. So these two have gone off to New York to try and stay and go to New York and they haven't been allowed. So they've been declined for some unknown reason. And then they've got this picture of them again, the same picture, but bigger. And um, they're in back. So they've obviously gone back to where they came from. So um, that's that story. <laughs> and then these two, absolutely gorgeous on this, uh, put a little, I might change that actually. I quite like the, um, I quite like the theme with the white, with the white ribbon. So let's change that for a piece of white ribbon. Um, because it's much nicer than that silvery stuff. Now we've got to get it in, which is not very easy. And you've got a scruffy hole like this. Just shove it in with the end of the scissors. There it is. And then I don't want to waste all this ribbon. So we'll just have that. Tie the little bow. Much nicer. I can already tell it's much nicer. Oh, I can't get, I've cut all my nails off. Well, I broke my nails, that's, now I haven't got my little extra power, which is pulling your nails, pushing things with your nails. There we are, that's a bit squiffy, but it's all right. That's nice. Yeah, that's, I like that much better. Much better. There we are. So there, um, See, this is what the printer did. It's cut the F off. France, France, so something to do with France, I suppose. But there we are. It doesn't matter. And then nothing on the back of that one. So that's those two. That's those two. That's that one. And then this one. Oh, did we put we put glue on this, didn't we? We put a bit more on. It's because it's on that netting, I think. So we'll just pop that there and. Little clip somewhere. There's one. Well, oh no, that's not that's too big. And a smaller one. There we are, that one. Just pop that on there. There we are. Yeah, so um, that's got a little pin and another bit of blue on there, and, and that's memories, and that's got cellophane there as well. So. Um, yeah, because I don't have any mica and I haven't discovered what mica is yet. I've got to go and uh, Google it. And then this one, they come out of there like that. And that there. And that's also France, I think. Nantes, is that France? Yeah, I think so. Well, I'm not very good at seeing geography. was the only subject I failed at school. Mind you, that was, what, 60 years ago? Uh, no, I wasn't 10, was I? Um, it was, I was 15 when I did my own levels, probably. So it was about um, 50, 55 years ago, 55, 60, 70, yeah, 55 years ago. And it's totally different now because they 
kids do a lot of um, coursework. I would have loved coursework, um, you know, doing all this uh, research and things, but we didn't do coursework when I was at school. Anyway, there we are. Um, I'll stop wittering now. And um, that's those finished. And aren't they fabulous? And thank you very much to Tracy Fox for that freebie. It's a really, really nice one. And um, really, really nice one. I really love it. And um, yeah, I hope you love it too. And um, I hope that uh, you are also going to have a go and um, go over to Tracy Fox, sign up and sign up for the newsletter. And then you two can have this one sheet um, freebie, which you can make all of this wonderful things out of. So there we are. Hope to see you next time. Please like and subscribe if you possibly can. And comments are great. And I try to answer them all. Well, I do answer them all because I don't have that many um, at the moment. <laughs> I mean, I'm building up the channel. Last time I looked last night, I had 857 I think 857 subscribers. So I'm heading towards a thousand. And then once I get to a thousand, I'll have a giveaway. But because I don't do digitals, it'll be a physical giveaway, something that I've made and I'll have to post out to you. So there we are. Okay, so that'll be lovely happy mail for somebody. Okay, so see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.